or are here now. We have uh, three of the guys in the band. Um, just to get started here, how long have you guys been playing together? Hey, how's it going, Brian? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, oh, okay. Uh, this band, as the lineup stands, has been around a little bit shy of a year. I'd say we started out around March. All right. Okay, you guys play a lot faster than the majority of most metal bands. Where did you? Where do you think like the element of speed came from? Well, for me, I'm into bands like I've been into always into the underground bands like Metallica and Raven and and stuff like that. And then influences my writing style quite a bit. Motorhead was another one that I was really into. For sure. Let me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys recently released your first LP, mini LP on Voice Records. Uh, how are things going with that? Well, it's doing really well in Theo, and we, you know, we like to thank everybody who's picked it up and everybody who's going to pick it up in the near future. I'm pick sure. It up. Hey. Pick it up or die. Yeah, hey, but <laughs> nonetheless, it's done really well in Theo. It's overseas in Holland and down in the states, southern states. So it's it's doing well around there. But uh, basically, we're trying to make sure that everybody up here in Canada is headbanging to it. So we're going to continue to get that cause happening All right how many copies have you sold of it so far uh just a little bit less than a thousand we're, we're pretty near the time of another pressing i mean that's our first pressing okay how about uh future recording uh you told me you might be working on a new album soon yeah we've got something new lined up we got 11 tunes that will blow everybody's mind who's heard armed and dangerous and turn a few heads too it's called uh, escape the fire uh, yeah it'll have a good cover right here oh yeah lots of tunes and lots of mayhem on it Okay, um, do you find it difficult getting accepted in clubs when you play live since you play a uh, fairly, don't get me wrong here, but inaccessible form of metal? Oh, that's true. You're right about that. But, uh, yeah, some of the clubs are, are, you know, hard on us. They, they don't like the, the speed metal all the time. It depends on the town you're playing, right? The bigger towns go for it, and there's always enough rock and roll animals there. The ladies don't like us at all. Yeah, no, no, we're not, a, we're not that kind of a band, I suppose. I guess uh, we, we appeal to the real thrash metal type of guys. But, uh, you know, if you're playing someplace like Stratford or something like that, no, we don't go over that well in those kind of towns. Fact. But the bigger towns really love us. In fact, we get fired. Yeah, we've been fired from a lot of these kind of clubs. Uh, yeah. Isn't that disgraceful, but what the hell? Yeah. Uh, you opened up for Anvil the other night at a certain club downtown, much to everyone's surprise. How was the response there? Very good, considering the short notice and the fact that nobody there thought we were going to be there. I mean, we just showed up and we blew on the stage and everybody seemed to get into it. And we were very impressed with it, and it was a good gig for us, and we hope we made a few more sales there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Your lyrics, uh, I find they're a little more easy to get into than some. What do you think of this severe thing about Satanism happening now that's so prevalent in heavy metal, like Merciful Fate, Venom, Slayer? Come on, guys. Well, I'll there. <laughs> well, like, let's hear some noise. How about black metal? Do, do you find it irritating? Do you love agree it, with it? Love it? I like black metal. I mean, like, it's a good entertainment form, and, and singing about Satan is, is just as relevant as everything else. I mean, we're not Satanists, and I don't believe any of these guys are. I think they're, everybody's in it to have a good it's time. It's all just an image. Yeah, Come on now. It's you don't good take stuff. it serious. It's just I, I mean, if crazy. people take it seriously, then they're it's overdoing their it. And, yeah, right. right. Like, we don't sing about black metal ourselves. I mean, we sing usually about mayhem and chaos, having a good time and headbanging and the whole bit. Mm -hmm. But that's just because we don't consider ourselves good black metal writers anyway. And nonetheless, our our thing is, like, to sing about, you know, kick party, ass, let's you know? party, let's have a good time, and let's, you know, do it with fast, hard, heavy hard. metal. And fast, <laughs> hard, and heavy woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. You guys plan on doing any touring in Canada or the States? We've got uh, quite a few dates lined up in the near future, but... However, it is difficult somewhat for a band of our stature to get a lot of gigs and land a tour. At this moment, we've got a lot of labels that are going to show a bit of interest, we hope, in the near future. And uh, we're getting some uh, print about us and some of the underground metal fanzines and whatnot. And we're hoping that in the near future that some people will take note of what we've been up to and how hard we've been working and see fit to uh, put us where we belong, which we hopefully will you know gain a lot of new fans right <laughs> gain a lot of new fans and you know spread the word around uh we got a few gigs we're we're going through southern ontario right now yeah uh getting back to your uh european interests you seem to be getting a bit of interest there how do you feel on that do you think it can go anywhere i think europe may be our back door back to denmark Canada. seems to be the capital right now so. right <clears throat> we'd like to really you know, get over to Europe. We wish we, uh, you know, had the kind of financial backing to do something like that because we think the people over there would really take to us. I mean, uh, uh, we've only had a bit of communication with them over there, but what, the, you know, with the feedback we've gotten from over there, we think uh, it's, you know, we're really optimistic about what's happening. There's, there's too much glitter rock. 
Yeah, yeah there's too much glam, eh? But that's right right pretty boys. Like Motley Crue and that, you know, Van Halen kind of stuff. A lot of posers. All right. Oh, let's see. Do you guys eat a McDonald's? Yeah. yeah. Big Mac. <laughs> mm. Oh, stuff. yeah. All right. Well, it's been great talking to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys will be opening up for Slayer this Saturday. Right, right on. Right yeah. on. Should be a really hot show. Hope everyone out there will be there. Right on. Uh, let's see. Well, let's get back to this fundraising thing here. Fundraising. Okay. Pledge your money to CKLN FM, a very good radio station. Best metal show around. You can call and pledge $10 or $20 or... $35, $20 right now will get you tickets to see Merciful Fate, uh, November 4th. So why don't you call now at 598-2182. Razor, it's been great having you.